Hello everyone and welcome to the second episode of the uh well short sword playthrough. Force of short sword. What I'm going to do is I'm probably going to be showing post commentary gameplay for this series. So probably with some parts of where I just show my initial reaction to whatever happens. Obviously it's night time we do that. Anyway, I hope you like the format. It's my first time doing this kind of thing. There's going to be a lot of first times coming soon. So I hope you look forward to that. Anyway, let's just get into it. So the first thing I ever did in this entire session was create myself some tin armor and a lead short sword. Now, it may not seem like much. However, we don't have very much of a set bonus. We don't have very much of a weapon. Getting this lead short sword and this tin armor was very helpful underground because, for one, tin armor got a buff and now mines faster and makes elevating so much easier. And, uh, I'm just gonna shut up and let you watch what happens next because it's kind of insane. Ooh. Ooh! Yeah, I, uh, I swear this wasn't what I wanted. I'll take that. Thank all these bombs, the angel statue. I'll take all of this, actually. Thank you very much. I'll even take this. This, I will take the chandelier because those are really good for, like, building and shit. But, oh! I've got what I need. And that's another fucking house below my house. Okay. Yes, seven damage is so much better. Or nine... Seven damage was the previous one. Nine is this one. Nine damage is so much better than seven damage, which is two less than what I need to do beforehand. I think that's exactly what I said before. <gasps> Come to me, baby. So that's a bit lucky. I gotta say, I love what's going on so far. Just everything that's been happening in this world is kind of insane just like what's gonna happen next because i'm lux goddess or something jeez why didn't i do this earlier oh yeah <gasps> oh my i swear oh please i'm i'm begging Oh, yes! No one would agree with me on that. Oh my god! Yes! Yes! The run is upon us, boys! Oh my lord! Yes! Screw the tin. Screw 10. You see that thing in there? See that thing right there? I win. I win. It's over. I need to get over there somehow. Oh, uh, fuck this house. That's my early game win condition. That's how I'm gonna beat the eye. That's how I'm gonna beat the Eater of World. That's how I'm gonna beat Skeletron. Oh. Okay, things are about to get a lot easier. And oh boy, do things get easier from here. Because that, my friends, is the shrine for the Spungal Symbiote. Now, if you don't know what it does, basically, what it does is make any true melee weapon fire little spores. I don't know the exact percentage for how much damage it does compared to your weapon. However, this allows us to have a semi-consistent range option, something the short sword doesn't have in the normal game. This will allow us to beat I of Cthulhu, Skeletron, any boss that we couldn't beat the four. As long as we have a long enough arena and they just keep chasing us, it's going to be fine. The only thing we really need to worry about is time management. Oh, and uh, building montage time, because I figured it'd be a good idea to make a house. So sit back and relax and vibe to some mushroom beats.
So here comes the bit that I don't really know what to say. It's just a lot of exploration and a lot of just you dealing with everything that I have to do. Well, I deal with everything that I have to do. It's kind of glorious. Anyway, so I decide to head off to the left. Because I'm like, okay, if I can find the jungle, I can get the spore stabby boy. And that's a really good short sword. I can get easily just go mine through walls. What What's going to stop me? Man-eaters? Just stay out of their range. I don't get why people have a hard time with those enemies. Ugh. But uh, I get a little overzealous. I go into a crimson biome cavern. And I'm like, huh, this is really good. And then... Bruh! It's, it's just right there. Also, why is that spawning? Things pretty decent, but I need survivability. Let's make a... Forty-three, hold up. He doesn't have not back. First death! And I, I kind of just got cornered. So I died! Cool! That's amazing! And then I'm like, huh. My armor is not good, even though I didn't even do the thing I was wanting to. I got distracted, and uh, just stayed distracted the entirety of the session until like the very end, where I went to the dungeon, and then the long ass crimson biome. And then I was like, "Huh, I need armor. I need better armor. Tin's not gonna get me through anything at all." Let's go underground, because going underground has been pretty good for me. Yeah. Let's just say it's you first. It's a good thing it has like a set pattern. Uh, I keep forgetting it's not the blue one. Ah! Why did it spawn down there? Why did that mother slime spawn? That ruined me so bad. Well, do I at least have, like, enough to make a fishing rod? No. Wait a moment, is it eight? Yes! Okay, alright. Alright, alright. Alright, so this isn't that bad. I can go fishing for a little bit. In revelation to this! I can't even be that dramatic. In realization that I have a fishing pole, I'm like... Huh, I should probably double time the jungle. Nah. I'm actually gonna go and create the bot spawn for the Desert Scourge. Because, if you didn't know, the Desert Scourge drops fishing items. And I, the fisherman go burr kind of guy, just sit here, fish for hours, and be like, yeah, I'm fine. Cause I'm doing short swords, I'm not gonna be able to mine frequently. I can fish a lot more, but I can't, I can't stabby stab the rock. But I can throw a hook into a water and catch a crate for some reason. So, with that knowledge, I go down to the thing, the giant underground desert thing, and I'm like, yes. I found a storm mandible. Oh boy. No. No, do not ever put your guard down ever. It will kill you. And by it, I mean the normal ass boys. Only one. Yeah, no, I shouldn't have. Oh well. 
Now I get to see what the thing has. I lost all my money, by the way. By the by. I didn't really have very much. So, after reorganizing everything in my house because I decided to do so, and checking with the traveling merchant that showed up during the other time lapse, I decided to go left again because that was the easier route. I do not want to be tempted by that dra that uh, desert anymore. So I'm just going to walk straight left, and if I can find something, I can find something. Honestly, this run actually went really well, if I remember correctly. Though I could be re misremembering, and you could be seeing a very, very abrupt death. But if that doesn't happen, and I'm fine, you're fine, and we can have a good time while we actually discover the dungeon instead of the jungle. Which really made me sad in a way. Looking at this dumbass dungeon and not getting a water bowl just to rub the salt on the wound that I'm never going to get that spore stabber. I'm just a little sad. I just want this kind of God damn it. Bruh! What the fuck? So the dungeon decided to be really scary for once in its life. Now, I'm not the average Job, but it seems like my luck here is just a little bit too much in this world. The fungal symbiote was under my house along with three other golden chests. The dungeon had three water candles. The layout of this world is kind of whack. And I gotta say, I got really lucky with almost all of my stuff. All in all, I'm having a lot of fun. And I bet you guys are having a lot of fun reacting to me having a lot of fun in no, for no reason. I, for one, should be dying a lot. And yet here I am, with only three deaths on the tally? Three deaths on the tally. This is actually really good, for a, for a short sword run at least. If you were playing normal melee, this would be so much better. However, none of this mattered compared to the boss fight that I fought right now. See, I trust this biome a lot more. No, I probably shouldn't. Stupid lag! I am <laughs> just like... Ah. 
Why'd you have to clear up then? It made it so much easier. <laughs> Man, I can't believe how tense that match between me and a retarded alligator was. Oh my lord, I had never concentrated so hard in my life. I went full ass gamer mode and I still couldn't do anything. I got touched once and I panicked. That's how it goes in Terraria though. Get hit once and you're like, oh god, oh god, where's the dopamine? Oh god, I need it more. So you, you, you make a wrong move. Like, oh god, I screwed up the dopamine. So, yeah, that, let's, let's make that a joke. Every single time we see one of those, we shall say that we're fighting the final boss. That's just how it is from now on. That is our final boss. If we can beat one of those, we can beat the entire game. Anyway, so I'm heading over to the right to see if I can find the jungle over there because obviously this entire fucking session is all about me upgrading and getting this spore stabber whatever it's called spore knife and the thing that make thing go boom and turn in the spores and then we see what could only be something frightening so, here comes the largest crimson biome that I've ever seen in Terraria. Ever. Even back in 1.2 when all I would ever play was the crimson because it was the new thing. I've just never seen this much crimson in one area. I swear, during this little section right here, which is probably only, let me see, uh, five, seven minutes, it was driving me insane. Because I was always like, huh, it has to end soon. Right? Right? Obviously it has to end soon. But it just didn't. It just kept going, going, and it kept going. I just couldn't. So I took a, a step back, and I relaxed for a little bit, and said, hey, if this is how it's going to end, this is how it's going to end. Oh. Nothing to it. Fuck. I'm confused. Uh, why? What? I just want to show you guys how fucking large this thing is. This is unnaturally large for a fucking crimson biome. See this? This is a, this is a fine ass crimson biome. This is how big it should be. This! Hold up, where is it? Starts here? Boop, 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 boop. What the f- Ah, <sighs> now wasn't that just refreshing? And, uh, it looks like we've hit the ending fishing session. That's gonna be a lot of fun. And that means I'm gonna go. I hope you all have the greatest of days, and that your day only gets better from here. My name is Jim Fury, and if you liked what you saw, please make sure to subscribe. You don't have to like it, you don't have to do anything else. Just your contribution makes me happy. I I'm signing out. See ya.